is going to talk about printing envelopes, so it doesn't sound very exciting, right? Usually technology is, you know, okay, let's talk about the latest video game and things like that. But uh, it's actually really, really cool, especially like for me in business. Um, when I started looking into this, I'm like, wow, this could really speed up labeling. Uh, you know, when I, and usually I just handwrite envelopes. This is going to really improve things. So, And because tonight we're just looking at uh, how to set up envelope printing, we're just going to jump right into that. So up at the top here, once you've opened Writer, you can click on Insert. And then just go down here, and you're going to laugh when you see this. Envelope. All right, so we're just going to click right on that. Okay, so now I get this pop-up window, and this is going to ask me for my initial ins uh, information. So the sender information, okay, it automatically puts my name there. So I'm going to put in a, a faux address. So I've just entered a sender address here. So there's my new sender address entered here. So now up here is the addressee. Okay, so I'm going to send a uh, an envelope here. Now, the one of the things that I need to check, first things first, so now that I've entered that information, let's click on Format, and just down here, just make sure that your format is set to the type of envelope that you would like to use. So if I pull this down, I want to use a number 10 envelope, so there we are, envelope number 10, and you'll see that the layout out, he out here is now very similar to just a standard envelope. Okay. Now up here, we're going to choose Printer, that's our next step and we want to set up the, where we're placing this in our printer basically. So my printer is just a basic laser printer. I'm going to set it like that. That's going to put it right in the middle um, sideways. So now we can go new document and now that's going to create that envelope for us directly within a new document in openoffice.org. Obviously we're going to want to print this so we're going to go file and before we actually go print we want to go printer settings because we've got to tell our printer that we're going to be printing to a um, uh, an envelope rather than an eight and a half by eleven uh, sheet of paper. So in this instance, I'm running this on Ubuntu. Uh, Windows users, you'll find that the interface is not identical but extremely similar. So you will be able to find your way around just fine if you're familiar at all with your printer dialog. So essentially, you're going to see your printer and just hit properties here and see paper size is set to letter, which is your standard paper, and again I just want to change that to envelope number 10. And that's just what we want to do before uh, before printing. Okay, let's say you own a business and you've got a database uh, of you know people that, uh, that you want to be able to send a mail out to. Uh, we're going to get into that right now. So all I'm going to do, now there's another product that comes with um, with OpenOffice, and that is the OpenOffice.org spreadsheet application which is called Calc, and it looks very, very similar to Microsoft Excel. So let's just say, okay, we're going to go last name. If I spell right, that's even better. So first field is going to be last name. Next one is first name. And then we'll go street address. And then we'll go uh, city. For us, because we're in Canada, I'm going to use province. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want, state or however. Uh, postal code. Uh, even if we want, we can go country first and then postal. Okay. So, and you can add as many fields as you want, but those are basically all that we need for now. So now I'm going to add a couple of people here. So. So now jumping back here, I've just created a very, very quick last name, first name, street, city, province, country, and postal for three people. And these are just, you know, myself and some make-believe people and my sister-in-law's name because I'm very uncreative when it comes to names. I'd use words like patootie as a last name and patootie is not a very good last name. So, All right, so we're going to pull up this database here. We're just going to save that, all right? So I'm just going to give that a name on my drive. Just throw it on my desktop, say, and I'm going to call that my uh, mailing list. And I can just leave that blank. It's going to automatically save it as a spreadsheet. Okay, so now I can close out of Calc, which is our Excel spreadsheet kind of uh, program there. And then I'm going to jump back to uh, OpenOffice Writer. This time around, we're going to use the database. So let's do this. We're going to go Insert Envelope. All right. We've already created our database, so we're going to go through this the same way, but we're going to leave this field empty. The addressee is going to be left completely empty. Our sender we can leave as is, because that's just who it's coming from, which is me. 
And the other stuff we've already set up. So we've already set it up to number 10 envelope size, and we've set our printer to print properly. So now we can go new document, and there we go. So now I've got one that has my address up here, which is not real, but by the way. And then down here, we've got a blank field. So now, what I want to do is I want to go, uh, let's see, view, and then data sources. So if I zoom in here so that you can see, I'm going to go view, data sources. This is going to give us the ability to import that database. So now we see up here that there's a couple of just generic uh, databases loaded and just a blank field here. So now I'm going to go up here to edit, and then go exchange database. And this is where we're going to load our database that we just created. All right, so we're going to browse for that. And then I've got that on my desktop. So you'll see that it's not there. And the reason for that is that down here, I want to just choose the all files and change that to openoffice.org calc. All right. And now you'll see that my mailing list.ods file is there. I double click on that. And now that has added that to my list of available databases in openoffice.org writer. So now if I close that, so, so straightforward. And if you follow this video, you'll just be like, wow, this is really, really easy. So now you see my mailing list here over on the left-hand side in my data sources. And I can just expand that and go to tables here. Oh, I'll just expand my tables, sheet number one. And you'll see last name, first name. There's my database. So now what I want to do is I want to set these fields up to automatically be added to my uh, envelope here. And I want to do it in such a way that it's going to be dynamically generated for as many people as I, would, uh, as I would like from my mailing list. So maybe I want to select just two people out of the mailing list. Maybe I want to send to everybody, things like that. So let's do that. So basically, the way I want to do this is I want it to show first name, last name. So it'll say Robbie Ferguson. So I want to grab that first name field, all right, just by grabbing the top part here. And I'm going to drag it down here. And you'll see that it's going to create a new field called first name. And I'm going to put a space right there so that I have a space between first name and last name. And then I'm going to go up here, grab the last name field, and drag it down just after my space that I just created. So now it says first name, last name. Now I'm going to create an enter, carriage return. And then I'm going to grab the street address. And that's going to go on the next line. And then I'm going to hit carriage return again. Then I'm going to grab the city. So now I can turn off my data source view, and now that's exactly what it looks like at this point. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see. This is how easy this is. Are you ready for this? Now I've set up my field, so now File, Print, and what does it ask me? Your document contains address database fields. Do you want to print a form letter? Basically what that's asking us is do you want to have the system automatically fill in the information for you? Absolutely. That's why we've set it up this way. So I'm going to say yes to that question. And you're always going to want to say yes to that. Yes. All right. So now it gives us our database. And the ones that are highlighted here are the ones that we're going to be printing out. So the way to highlight multiple fields is to, well, highlight the first one and then hold in your left control key to select additional fields. So now I'm just going to print selected records, or of course you can print all, and then I'm just going to push OK. I'm not going to print it to my printer. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print it to a file so that I can actually just uh, bring it right up on the screen for you so that you can see, and then I don't have to leave the camera as well. So now remembering that I told it that I wanted it to take my envelopes in sideways like this, so like height-wise rather than width-wise. So looking at this printout, this is how it would have printed. So you see. There's the envelope, so there's Robbie Ferguson, there's the from address, and then you notice that it filled in, because Robbie Ferguson was one of the recipients, it put Robbie Ferguson as, and I know it's sideways and crooked and everything, but you understand that. And then, of course, I also selected Abby, so Abby was automatically filled in there as well with the address that's in the database. So that information was automatically filled in. So had I had you know, two envelopes sitting in the printer the right way and just said, go ahead, print to the printer, it would have fed those two envelopes through and automatically printed them. Add a logo up here, things like that, or even, you know, glorify it a little bit. Let's put some bold text on there. If I wanted to, I could bold that, then save that file as sort of my template guide so that I don't have to do it again.